Welcome to today's episode. Now, I might cough a few times, and it's not because I have COVID. Um, it's because I had way too much cinnamon to drink. Don't do that at home. Don't have cinnamon drink. It's not healthy. That was not a good idea. And we're on with the episode, I'm building a barrier to try to prevent the creepers from killing me. But, well, that didn't work. So... This episode, the goal is to try to get the obsidian skull that is unbreakable, so the eternal skull. And why you want this is if you're a phantom, normally you burn in the day, but if you have the eternal skull, I'm thinking, and I don't know this for sure, that you won't burn in the day. Um, correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong, because I haven't tested this at all, so I don't know why I'm going for this, but anyway. The plan is to get the eternal skull, um... Side note, make sure when you're exploring the nether you have leaf armor and you have your graphics set to low, because it is very leggy over here. Um, have a good computer if you want your graphics high. I don't have a good computer, I'm playing on a laptop. And not all laptops are bad, but this one is like only 8 gigs of RAM, and half the RAM has to be used on other stuff because I have tons of tabs open, so, so yeah. But anyway... Um, yeah, I'm gonna turn down my graphics, because this is getting out of hand. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in the video, just so you all can see. So, oh, I put my graphics on fabulous, whoops. Um, I we'll probably need to change that. Nah, I'll deal with that later. Okay. But yeah, so the goal is to get the Eternal Skull so I don't have to constantly eat berries in order to stay alive. And it would appear that Morgenny has joined the game. Um, and basically, Morgeni is a, as I understand it, he's a neutral nation who likes to trade, and I'm going to turn my graphics down, because this is intense. Um, Morgeni was having some connection issues, which is why you might not see Morgeni for a bit, but Morgeni is back. Back in the fold. And let's go get my corp. Okay, let's not get my corpse yet. <laughs> oh, that didn't work. Um, there's no real point to Dark building this barricade thing, at least if you're a phantom, because you can get right through it. Can't even get on the stairs! Okay, mild leg spikes happens whenever you go into the nether you don't disconnect. Just a warning to you all. Um, let's continue onward. Sorry about the ums, I was informed by my video peer reviewers that they are terrible and they're causing you all to lose immersion or whatever, but you know what? Screw your immersion. The only person who needs to be immersed right now is me immersed in some water because I'm burning to death. Uh, <sighs> this is great. I'm not even gonna be able to get my body, are I? Nope, not gonna be able to get my body. Maybe. There we go. Something's actually happening this episode. Things are back on track. Maybe. Things are back on the tracks, and maybe we can get the show on the road? Wait, there's no tracks on roads. Okay, I'm gonna try to get the other bodies while we're at it, because I have a good feeling about this. Um, very good feeling, which will hopefully not be quashed instantly by the cruel and brutal... Hey, <laughs> okay, that was just my fault. Who needs a cruel, brutal world when you can have an incompetent maniac? <laughs> okay. And more Jenny swore in the video. Yay! Not for kids. Not for kids. Let me get in the portal. I'm gonna quick have some more cinnamon. Okay. Dark is here with us, and random pigs are falling from the sky. It would not be Minecraft without that. I mean, in Don't Starve, they don't fall from the sky. They're just kind of there. Uh, except if you count the caves where the pigs can fall through the caves in that weird mod I tried once. Maybe I'll do Don't Starve videos. What do you all think? Should I do Don't Starve and force you to listen to more of my voice? Of course. My voice is excellent. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a grandiose narcissist. Ah! My voice may be excellent, but my playing patterns in this game are sub-excellent. Which, sub-excellent just means you should subscribe to my excellency. And... Morgeni... 
where she's having texture pack issues. Uh, currently, the server is having the texture packs just kind of forcefully load. I'll change that because it causes lag and some people want to use their own texture packs. We were doing that because of x-ray related issues, but I think Admin's working on an alternative fix for that, which will hopefully work. Anyway, so continuing onward with this video, I'm going to try to find more of my bodies, or at least just do some exploring. Yeah, there's so many bodies if you couldn't tell by the radar that's slightly cut off on my screen. Sorry about that, by the way. And Morgeni got diamonds! It would appear that Morgeni is progressing and we'll have some new trade partners, which will be great. Great for Dark, who's actually rich. Not really great for me, because I'm like brain corrupt. And speaking of Dark, there is Dark right here. Hello. What? No, 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 no. Okay, phase through the wall. Don't ever go near Dark again. Remind me in future videos, never go near Dark again. I feel like that could be a lawsuit. I could sue Dark for that. Put that in a future YouTube video, me suing Dark over that pulling a gun on me. But anyway, continuing onwards, I feel like I'm not, I don't know where to mine for like netherite. Like, is it going to be under the lava? Says the noob. <laughs> is it going to be under the lava? I don't know. I don't know like very much about late game Minecraft. I probably should have read the wiki. There you go. Found my body. Uh, at least that's working well. And I got two phantom membranes, which are important for the ritual that makes the stellar skull that I completely forgot about. So basically, get the netherite, get some blaze powder, get some phantom membranes, make stellar skull. You can actually get phantom membranes a lot from the nether if people are too busy sleeping, which generally tends to be the case due to all the mobs. But you can basically get the phantom membranes from the nether. Uh, the downside is you might want to build some kind of, like, um, bridge with a ceiling because the phantoms will fling you in the air and if you don't have, like, a gun or something, it's very hard to deal with them. 